because you know we had brought it up originally at your house, and I had to stop mm. my girl from saying it. Hmm. I don't know what All you're right. talking about. I told Delson, actually, you weren't even here yet. Good. Great. This actually makes the conversation fun. So, Brian, <laughs> did you see the video? Actually, should I preface it like that? How about I preface it like this? Brian, There boom. was a video. Listen. Mm. I get me and Alexis tickets to go see Usher. Ooh. All right? Okay. I get tickets. I know she loves Usher. Not random. She does? No, but okay. this is hypothetical. Okay. We know she loves Taylor Swift. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, big fan of Usher. I know that's my girl's favorite artist. Boom, bam, bing, right? Buy the yes. ticket. We go, to the, we go to the show together, right? Yes. We go to the show together. Usher has a point in his show where he picks a fan out of the crowd. Oh, hell no. And when he picks a fan out of the crowd. Picks your girl. He picks a girl to come on there and he performs either song to her, sings to her, or dances with her, whatever the case may be, right? Oh, hell no. <laughs> My girl gets called up. She gets chosen out the crowd, right? Yikes. What do you do? What, as you, if you're me, how, what, do you, what are you expecting in that moment? Like, Immediately go to the car and be out. Like I'm both of y'all? <laughs> no, just kidding. No, no. But no so... does, the, does the act happen first? Because you didn't preface that. Does no, whatever the act happen... does not. This is the act that's happening. That well, I'm going to watch what's happening on that stage. girl just got like, called up. She's on her way she up. She looks super excited. You look at your girl. What do you expect to happen next? Oh, mm-hmm. what do I... If I look at my girl, depending on how I look at my girl, she should probably make a decision. Am I going to refuse or am I going to accept this invitation? Okay. And because what if would I'm, you like her to do? What would I like her to do? Yes. Not go on stage? That'd be my first choice. Okay, you don't want her to go on stage. Mm, I, I'm not saying that I'm going to have a problem with it, but yes, I probably would enjoy her not going on stage more than her going on stage. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't care, but at the same time, I would rather her not. Okay. What about you, <laughs> D? <Dee? laughs> like, if she goes on there, cool. Not really. It depends. Shorty. It depends on what it is. Right? I if just she... told you what I should about to do to her. He about to talk to he her. He about to grind on her and yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, if do you don't stay your stupid ass down. shit that sounds... I'm, I'm going to give her the, if you don't sit your ass down, look. Okay. And yeah. if she don't respond to that, yeah. then when she comes back to my seat, I will not be in my seat. Yeah, okay. Fine. Okay. So, <laughs> I like that perspective. Now, this actually happened at a Chris Brown <laughs> show. Chris Brown called the guy's girl up. The girl went up, got the lap dance and everything from Chris Brown. Got off stage. Her boyfriend was gone with mm. the whip. Text her, yo, we done. Yo. Did it hit her back? The conversation was like, who's in the wrong here? The girl, Why would the mind guy? you, or the guy? Remember, you bought her that ticket. Mm-hmm. You brought her to those front row seats. Mm-hmm. You brought her to a position to her favorite artist of all time mm-hmm. to possibly pick her out the crowd. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, that's saying that some, pe- some people are blaming the guy in general. Like, yo, if you brought her there, you got to eat that and just rock with it. No, Nigun, you brought her there. You got to eat that and rock and with that- it. Because, because I know for a fact that if it was the other way around, it wouldn't be eat that and rock with it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be, oh, eat that and rock with it. You're for saying, the like, let's say, for example, your girl brings you to. You at the Rihanna. The Rihanna, a, a Rihanna show. Rihanna yeah, where she actually up. does the same thing. She right. fucking. Grinds or, or Nicki Minaj or whatever, whoever does it now. But um, that, that like it wouldn't rock like that. Like my girl ain't fucking cheering me on on the stage. Like she will probably be out too. You think so? Yes, bro. Okay. Because <laughs> the argument you? is they're trying to say the met the guy who broke up with his girl is a super insecure person. Yes, because but he so initially what? Initially brought his girl there for that for that show. You bought her the tickets, okay. but yet when. You know, you know what the mm-hmm. performance comes with Chris Brown. It happens to you, and then you're upset about it. Yes. Let me ask you a question, and then this is the perspective that I have that like encompasses a little bit smaller, like on a on a because that shit never really happens. Like, like what this story chances? specific, and it's really like an oddball mm-hmm. chance for it to happen, right? Right. So the way I look at it is like, if they want to blame him for bringing 
Right. <laughs> this is going to sound fucked up, but just, just rock with me. This is why I love our show. <laughs> um, this, uh, imagine this. So they're trying to blame him for buying the tickets for the girl. Yep. Right. Right. And bringing her to the concert yep. and allowing her to be in the front row. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's what he's just being blamed for. Three things. Putting her in that position, right? So buying the tickets or oh, putting her in that position. Right. Okay. Vice versa. Let's say this girl brings her friends around, right? And they dressed scandalously. Uh-huh. And they shoot their shot at him. Uh-huh. At her boyfriend. And she, he fucks them. Well, you should not never brought him around her girlfriends, huh? How is, uh, you should How is you it different? Never, you should never you should never you should never brought her around this, your girlfriends okay, because this is you should have known. But this it's is your different. fault now. This you is bitch. the difference. And How is it different? You know what's crazy is like I'm actually How is You know what's different? crazy? I'm actually on your side in the real argument, but I'm trying to just add Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Because the argument is <laughs> this is a show. Chris Brown does this at every single show. Mm. It's he does it to every, every one fan every single show. Like you said, it is a rare occasion, mm-hmm. and it is super rare for him to pick your chick, right? But if you bring him there, if you pay for that to happen, in a sense, like give him the opportunity, you could. I can see Did how Chris I'm Brown like, have a gun? I don't think I'm even <laughs> buying you that. If I'm gonna do it, I don't think I'm gonna go with you. Oh, sh- like I think if I'm buying you a Chris Brown ticket. You gonna go? No, nah, I'm nah, not going because oh, if that shit nah. happens and I ruin that moment because it's an experience, whatever it is, oh, I'm gonna feel nah. like an asshole. But then I'm gonna create a real problem because then I'm gonna think you're not a down bitch for me. You oh, see hell. what I'm saying? Oh hell no! Nah. I'm gonna think you're not really down for me because I'm like, yo. So how this was my- the, this was the argument? Let me just get to my shit. So Alexis was essentially saying like. I was like, yo, I'm I'm on homeboy side. Like I would have broke up with you too. Hell She's yeah. like, that's fucked up. Why would you? Why would you break up with me for a show, for bringing me to a show, my favorite artist, and he just chose me to, uh, for a part of the performance? I'm like, because to me, you getting picked out of a crowd next to me mm-hmm. by a fucking dude who I know before you probably met me have preconceived notions of probably fucking, like, obviously mm-hmm. you're not going to fuck them. It's a rare occasion, but we were young. We used to think of women and sexual celebrities mm-hmm. and every guy, Everyone girl, has done that. they sexualizes celebrities their favorite mm-hmm. celebrities as a youngin mm-hmm. everyone did that shit mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so for me in my head if chris brown's been your all-time favorite for all this time there's been a point in your life that you thought about homie smash you so probably. for me that probably still living there you going up there jolly and shit like that mm-hmm. and leaving me here to wait for you to come back oh no no, no, no. that's crazy i'm not letting anyone I, I, <laughs> I'm just saying, based off of there's a simple fact that she is screaming at the top of her lungs, excited to go get a lap dance by somebody, that angers the fuck out of me just thinking about it. Okay. Screaming like, and yelling at the top of her lungs, saying, yes, I'm going to go after I paid for you to get here, bitch? This, this Are is you a, crazy? You know how much these tickets cost? Uh, I can give you the, the girl's I, perspective when you're the, ready. The way I look at it, though, is like at the end of the day, when everything, all the, the crowd is mm-hmm. shut off and everything, like there's no performance. It's still a dude on stage, yeah. mm-hmm. and then s- your girl being excited to go get the lap dance by dude, right? Right. And then you sit in there, because the problem is that you sit in there. Bro. Watching it happen. Watching it. That's oh, the problem. No. And it's like a respect thing. And everyone's like, if- screaming at the top of their lungs, oh, yo, you pussy, you pussy. Might as well. Your bitch yeah. gonna get fucked by Chris Brown. <laughs> if you def- if- He's definitely hearing that. No doubt. And if and if she's and if and then at that point she gets fucked by him. Oh, oh, you tight nigga. Should have never brought her to the Chris Brown concert. I'm still trying to figure out how my example doesn't fit. To me, exactly, that that's a sense. fact. It's a fact. No, because this is why the girl. Now this is Alexis' point of view. She's like, what's the difference of you guys going to the strip club? Except now you with random bitches paying for you're paying for random bitches to to grind on you. She's like, at least for me, you brought me to someone who's not really touching me naked, and it's an actual part of a performance, and it's my favorite artist. You guys okay. are going to random women, paying them to grope you and grind on you. So where's yeah. why is that? Why, I am not one. Why one is big that difference? Why okay. is that yeah. okay? And why? And one, why is it a problem for the other thing? One major difference. Yeah, because it's a performance, right? Imagine this. Let's say the strip club. The only time it's the same is if the, your girl is sitting in the crowd while a stripper puts you on stage and dances on you on stage. 
while everybody else watches. The That's the only way it's the same. Nah, because girls come up to you all the time. No, 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 no. Because the biggest issue to me with the Chris Brown thing is the fact that you're sitting there watching okay. while this whole crowd is rallying around this girl that's getting danced on, which is your girl. Yeah. So the only so- way it's the same is if they grab you, your girl is sitting there, and she has to watch you get danced on by a stripper and then on I'm just stage like this. in yeah. front of everybody. <laughs> So, Where everybody else is cheering. That's the only way it's the same. Otherwise, it's nowhere near the same. That's that's my oh, that's my argument too. It's like fuck out of here. You going yeah. for me? It's Ole. I don't that's have a problem. With, no. I, I think that's where I'm at. I don't have a problem with if you got chosen and you go out there. Like I might be a little tight, but how can I be tight? It's like it's a mm. part of the show, and that's fucking Chris Brown, dog. Like it's Chris Brown. No, no, no. Like at the I'm end. Tight. No, I of course I'm gonna be a little jealous or a little <laughs> mad, of course. But at the end of the day, it's like it's a part of the show, I see and that's why I finished telling Dawson like I don't mind it. I'm just not going. I'm not gonna no, go. No, I don't want to know. I better not see that shit on video. I don't want to. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, about none that. of that. And and no no no. I can't. I I can't have that. I can't have that. I can't have that. I can't have that, bro. Because because even if she goes by herself, I hear one Chris Brown song and I look at her extra hype. <laughs> nigga, she all there extra hype and shit. She doesn't even take. She doesn't even take it down. You talking about you, huh, bitch? Uh, yeah, huh? Yo. He talking about you. He made that oh. song in 2007. Nah, that shit about you. <laughs> yo, that's a fact. That's about you. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And then, <laughs> so address the, let's address the insecure part. They're saying that he's insecure because he They're broke up with a little the bit. Guy, the, man, the boyfriend is insecure bit. because of the fact that he paid for the tickets, brought her there, knowing that's her favorite artist. She just got happened to be chose. It's not like she really cheated on him or anything. He Whatever. just got, he just, I think is what you said. It was the more so the embarrassment part of like, my shorty really just went up there while I'm standing next to her. And that's where, again, that's where I'm at. He with a king, it. bro. It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. I respect that king. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I respect protect it. Protect your fucking heart, dog. Yeah, man. Like, fuck that shit. But yeah, for me, it's just like, again, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind it happening as long as I'm not there and she's respectful of me. Like, if she do some shit where she grab the man, Jenka, nah, in the middle nah. of the, the... She deaf doing that. When is she going to get another chance to touch Chris Brown's dick? Janker. If she does... Oh. Okay. <laughs> if she does that, it's over easily, bro. But I'm saying, like, I think... I. I I'm assuming like that's think, happening, though. I would like She's, to think my girl is so oh, re- no. so down and respects hell. me to the point that she'll. She is not already do that. on the stage. So you think yeah, she's the, If you already she on the stage, dick. grab that sh- You better grab that shit because we over. <laughs> you might as well. You might as well you go, might out as out well go out you, swinging. You better, you better you grab that shit. Going out swinging is <laughs> I, I mean, there's, there. You can definitely say that he's a little insecure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me too. I think I don't think I'm gonna break me, up with my girl. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm breaking up with you, but we gonna have problems when we get home. Yeah, but what tight. the the reality is to me is like it depends because he could have been so tight based on the fact that he got embarrassed in front of pu- like in a public platform right. like that, and she and cheated he, before. Or could have been. We just added shit now. You don't know. There's there's she parts that we don't dicks. know, but let's go by based on what we know, Brian. Okay, sorry, sorry. Thanks for adding another wrinkle for My no bad. reason. You know I had to. And he's he's a he's a he's a he lives in a single mom house. <laughs> At least we all you know, know his dad. At least we all know us three here are not buying our girls no tickets. Hell no, no. she ain't going to the fucking Chris this Brown. This, she, we he, not buying no Chris if Brown. If I would have said that, tickets here. I, I bet you money. I know what Chanti will say. It's Chris Brown, Brian. Yeah, it's Chris Brown. I'm grabbing his dick, <laughs> and I'm just like. No, you're not going to the show. Yo, my girl told uh, me she grabbing another man's nah. dick. It's over. I don't care what you say. The embarrassment, just... the embarrassment is what I think led yeah, to his nah, action. Nah, for sure. Like he had a. Do you think he's gonna sit there and do that? Nah, nigga, I'm, music playing all loud. Yo, nigga got the son, nigga yo, got the thing on but, right here. Nah. You can hear him breathing and shit all hard on your girl. This is how I know he was. Yeah, he left damn. her. With, he left her with no. No way home. No way home. Yeah, so Uber bitch. Said, Bow, oh, bing, go, bow, go, go bing, get Chris Brown bing, and take bing, you home. That's a real Chris game. Brown got a that's big a, ass van. <laughs> Chris Brown got a big ass van, bitch. 
That's some real hater shit. Chris Brown got all that money, right, bitch? Go ahead and get with him. I'm taking my shit home. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. I seen, I seen. He, he was, I was in Tampa the same week, and he was in Tampa. Yeah. And we saw oh, yeah, Chris yeah, Brown's van, him. and we saw Chris Brown's tour bus. Chanti was like, "Is that him? Is that him?" She got so hyped so quick, bro. That got you a little tight, right? Oh, no, nah, nigga. She ain't, she ain't going to see no Chris Brown. Yeah. Facts. Fuck that. Yeah, my girl not going to see no Chris Brown either. <laughs> fuck that. Rihanna. Fuck. And if she do go see, see Chris Brown, she only buying nosebleeds. Because he ain't picking her out there. Oh, imagine. You up there. Seat 1730. <laughs> all the way in the tippity top. She's not even, in, Come she's on not even at the seat. She in the bathroom. She's like, we'll wait for you to get back. <laughs> Miss Clifton, we're waiting for you. <laughs> God damn. They know, whole last <laughs> <laughs> they know my girl's last name is God crazy. <laughs> they give her a parachute to parachute. Down. Oh, <laughs> shit. You fuck. Nah, Yo, point, parachuting down to Chris Brown to give you a flat dance. Point. Then it would take uh, you down par- playing? It's she parachuting to the- <laughs> It would take you down playing as the boyfriend. Take you gotta, you, down. you gotta take a break from like dating for a year. <laughs> a year? Yeah, I'm, 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 on, the other, I'm on the other side now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you say you going to the other side. <laughs> Look at Brian. Brian just got that joke like yeah, 10 minutes got it. <laughs> it. <laughs> it. Okay, so where do we fall on this, guys? As all three gentlemen are here, we're all in agreement with our buddy who left. Damn, because bro. we think, you know what? Don't embarrass us. They like did that. him dirty, bro. It's, it's not the part that you chose to go be a part of the performance. It's the fact that you chose it right next to me, knowing that. There's a bunch of people in here looking. You shouldn't have even raised your hand when he when he said, "Who want to come on stage?" Don't raise your fucking hand. That's and Loki, there's real there's real women out there. Not saying that you're, you're fake for doing it, but there's women out there who will stand by them that don't play that. Mm-hmm. Like they won't do that out of respect nah, for the man. Like nah, you fake for doing it. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you a fake ass bitch. Yeah, <laughs> fake ass. Hoe. What you think? What you think? What you think he would have done? Did if he like you know puts his music on shuffle and take you down? Games God. <laughs> on the whip. Where? Yeah. Uh, where, where on the, the way home? home. On the way home. Oh, on the way. Yeah. We not listening to the Chris algorithm. Brown on no, the way he home. pressed shuffle on his playlist. Oh, because the, the algorithms. Because his phone heard it. Her, his phone heard the Chris Brown, or or like knew that he was going to the Chris yeah. Brown concert, and boom, he got. That shit is in his algos. I'm crying. I'm going into other uh, other traffic. Things. Oh shit! I'm gonna take myself down. <laughs> take you gonna go down. to other traffic. Every time you hear "take you down," it's just gonna give you bad nightmares. Like my yeah. girl's a hoe. <laughs> shit, yo! <laughs> it's getting crazy now. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm just happy you guys. Yo, I was really, I was really worried that y'all wouldn't see my my perspective on this. But Alexa nah. really fought me on that with the stripper thing, man. Just, and I just yeah. try to tell her, like, yo, for us, we don't connect to these strippers. We're not here automatically thinking we. Okay, I also said this. She's like, yes, you guys do sexualize strippers. You picked ugly one. You picked the pretty ones over the ugly ones, right? Hey, I'm like, come on. I'm no, like, come on. Just because a girl, okay, <laughs> to me, attraction doesn't necessarily make it. I want to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I just because you're pretty doesn't offer. <laughs> the- he's not, he's shooting all my fucking defense down. She gonna, she gonna listen. It's just to this one shit. little and one little sound. She just gonna listen. That's it. But I, okay, I know what you mean. I, know what I you mean. don't correlate mm. being pretty and beautiful with mm. I want to automatically have sex with you. Mm. Okay, I okay. I've, maybe when I was like 12 or 13, sure, but like now I'm. Not where like yo, my fucking Jimmy jumps one when I see a woman you know that looks good like that doesn't happen or that don't happen. Oh, no, but so that's I'm her. That's how she thinks, bro. Oh, that's what she was thinking. She's saying that we picked the pretty strippers to dance on us because those are the ones we would most likely fuck. And I'm like, that's not how I think. There's possibly people who think that way. I don't though. Mm. She may be bad as fuck. Whatever. Dance on me, uh, 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 but I'm not off rip thinking, yo, I gotta take show to you. Fuck up brains out upstairs. Like, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to the strip club with, yo, I'm sitting next to a bunch of other dudes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I cop the, uh, if I cop the Hardy next to my mans, that's crazy. That's awesome. That's the I part mean, that don't what? let me do that because I'm, that reminds me that I'm here for fun with my homies. With the guys. With the guys, and we here just throwing money, having a good time listening to music. 
She in some ass shape. But nobody mm-hmm. here on some predatory trying to fuck shit. Mm-hmm. And that's how she thinks we go to the strip club, guys. Wow. Just yeah. letting you know how my girl thinks of us when we go. That's but, fine. And you know for damn sure they be going to the fucking concert hoping, wishing they're the ones that get picked. <laughs> Wishing, wishing that the ones that get the choice oh, to get picked. He right? got me the front seat. Oh, he death picking me. He death picking me. That's yeah, what they be saying. My girl say that as we going up. Oh, he death picking me. She, we going right back to the whip. Take yeah, I'm picking down. your ass right up. We going home. <laughs> we going home. Take you down. <laughs> now I'm gonna listen to that song different. I'm gonna go talk to Alexis. Like, Yo, you tell you Alexis not for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> she do that, bro. <laughs> 